hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to integrate airtable with sharepoint let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in sharepoint i want you to click the sign up option and from here just to follow with the on-screen instructions and you're good to go to integrate Airtable with a SharePoint, you can use third-party tools, automation platforms, or even APIs. Because when you hover to the templates and apps here in Airtable, click on the left-hand panel of your dashboard and type, type in SharePoint. As you can see, there's no result. On the marketplace, to see if we get an extension for um, SharePoint, let's type in SharePoint. No result, right? Now, why is that? Basically, SharePoint is not a native feature here in Airtable. As you can see, if you go to the third-party uh, um, integrations, there's not a lot. All right, so you don't have any um, options here. But don't worry, because one option that we are going to use is from Make.com. Okay. Now here you can swap the apps, and we want to integrate Airtable to sharepoint now you can see you can select a trigger like for example it triggers when a new response is submitted or are you going to choose it returns all newly created or updated records in a view it depends on your specific needs and goals but for now i'm gonna use or choose the uh, second option all right i'm gonna click on that now on the uh action for the uh, sharepoint for example it creates a new list is it going to be creating a new item or delete an item so again i leave that to you but for now i'm going to choose it creates a new list and once you've done that all you have to do is click on this pink button here to get started now if you haven't already just click on the uh, sign up it's free and easy to think, uh, thing to do but right now i'm going to log in using my account I'm going to sign in using my Google. Now, once you are here, we are going to create a new scenario, right? After doing all of the modules for both platforms, just click on the uh, this purple button here to run once. But for now, we're going to set up the module. For Airtable, click the plus button here and create a webhook, all right? Click on save. And click on OK. Now, on the other side of the spectrum is going to be a Microsoft SharePoint. I want you to click on it and choose an account. Now, once you're done that, all you're going to do is click on Run Once. And by integrating Airtable with SharePoint, you can ensure that data stored in both platforms remain, remain in sync. This reduces data and ensures that users have access to the same information across tools because as you know sharepoint often serves as a document management and team collaboration platform while Airtable right here functions as a database or project management tool integration allows for better collaboration by sharing data between the two now if uh there's another way for you to integrate Airtable to microsoft if you don't like to use uh, make.com and that's going to be called integrately Again, similar to make.com, all you have to do is sign up for free. It's very easy thing to do, right? So I've been using Integrately in the past, and it gives wonders. Now, as you can see, you can connect Airtable to SharePoint. You can automate your workflows in one click. You can make use of Airtable automations to manage projects, track inventory, and automate data processing based on your specific needs. All you have to do, as you can see, you have all of these options. The most popular ones are creating SharePoint folder from a new Airtable record, right? Or we can also choose the create SharePoint file from new Airtable record or create Airtable record from new SharePoint file. Whatever you choose, you have to sign in so that you can start the automation, which I'm going to do right now. Now, once you are logged into your Integrately account after creating a successful application or sign up, now number one is select one uh automation all right so uh, the app two is gonna be for the uh, sharepoint 
okay so uh type in sharepoint and that's going to be that now you see just go uh, select the uh automation that you wanted for in my case i'm going to choose maybe create sharepoint folder from a new airtable record or i wanted to create sharepoint no i'm going to create an air table from a new sharepoint file i'm going to click on the activate button and just wait for it the idea is by syncing data between airtable and sharepoint users can work with data in their preferred platform whether it's Airtable's database format or SharePoint's document and list capabilities, you can manually transfer the data between platforms and it, you can not go to waste time and can introduce errors, all right? It's very easy thing to do. By integrating SharePoint and Airtable, this automates the process in freeing up time for more valuable tasks. And from here, all you have to do is sign into your SharePoint, connect and click the Customize and Live, all right? Now, the last option that we are going to use is going to be from Zapier, wherein we are going to create new Microsoft SharePoint folders from new Airtable records. Okay, so I'm going to click this try this template button. And if you are a big fan of our Deep Labs channel, you know that we have so many Zapier tutorial tutorials for you guys. Okay, and if you haven't already, Please click the sign up button so you'll get notifications from our daily content. We are here to give you videos that could help you solve your problems quickly. Now, going back to Zapier. Now, on the Airtable, I want you to select the uh, event. I'm going to choose it triggers when a record is created or updated. I'm going to use this and I'm going to click on continue. going to choose all the values here you can select the default if you want it class one value is going to be um this Now on the uh, Microsoft SharePoint, all I'm going to do is click on create a folder. And from here, all I have to do is sign into your account and authorize these um, accounts. Because these platforms bridges the gap between database management and document collaboration, enhancing workflow. All right. All I have to do is add this to continue and click this button right here to turn Zap on. And you can sit back and relax because Zapier will do all the work for you. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.